good morning. Good morning. At Stewart Middle School. Here we are. It's Mr. Sperry. And Mr. Shooty. We are here to do a little presentation on our new testing schedule. Yeah. It's it's kind of brand new. In preparation for OSAS. 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 Dun dun dun. Ba -ba -ba -bum. So we're gonna go through this process. There's a slide presentation that the sixth graders went through. The most seventh and eighth grade classes have gone through yep. day one of this, but we're gonna lay this whole thing out. So just in case you're one of those people yep. who decided to miss miss school, yep. go with the sixth graders onto a, a field trip. Or and, something. Or something, I'm not, not to be too specific. It's all good, we'll make so, it work. So we're gonna start going through this and you can see us down and there at the, the bottom. Too, this could be me. archived then and used possibly in future years in future if we years. continue this system. Yeah. This so we, work. We can't say anything right now that dates us. Right. Like the Eras tour just ended like a month ago. Yeah. Can't say something can't like say that. Can't say that. Okay. Uh uh. All right. All right. So there there are two tests in English language arts and two tests in math. You have your cat test, which is your computer adaptive test. So this is like the you read a thing, you answer some multiple choice, maybe some short answer, yep. maybe some audio answer. Yep. And then and it, go. No, you go for uh, it. And then you have the performance task the performance that then test. follows that. So in English language arts, the performance task is you're writing an essay. Right. Whether you like it or not. Given a prompt. And you go, hey, here's hey. the details for this, and I'm going to write an essay for that. In math. Yeah, what does the PT look like Well, in math? in math, it's like an extended problem. To call oh. it a story problem is, or a word problem is not really correct. but. It's one that involves multiple steps, multiple, therefore, yeah. ergo, ergo, henceforth, needing multiple days to attempt to complete. Okay, so it's, kind of, it's like the math version of an essay. Yes, exactly. So, you're going to be testing. This was the number one question I got. When are we doing this testing? You're going to be testing in, with your AM core class. So, yes. with your AM core class. Not necessarily in, because we're talking about a new time schedule, but in your AM core class. So yeah. for seventh or sixth and eighth graders, that's first period. Primero. You'll be sitting in a room with your first period class. Yes. It'll feel normal in the morning. For seventh grade, that's going to be your third period class. So in the morning, you'll go straight to your third, third period, period class. class. So if you have Mr. Sperry third period, you go You're to going there at the beginning of the day. You have at 8.15. Stro, third period, you go, go to Ms. Stro. 8.15. 8.15. And this has a modified schedule to it. So we're going to show you that schedule right now. So this is the, the testing class schedule for testing. You're going to notice, if you look at the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, we have testing in the morning from 8.15 till 9.30 every day during testing weeks. Which so is important because it's the beginning of the day. Very beginning. Which means for those of you that like to saunter in. And saunter is not a brisk pace. Around 8.30, you're going to miss that testing window start time. Yes. And what's important for you to understand is that if my class has started testing at 8.15, like we're supposed to, following the directions and following the program. Yes. We're not going to be allowing distractions to be entering in late. Yeah, so it, this this causes real this problems if you come yeah. in late. So yeah. please be here by 8 o'clock so we can let you in at 8.05 and you are in your class by 8.15. Ready to go. Or 8.10, we let them in at 8.10, right? Yeah. So we let you in at 8.10. So, be ready to go ready at 8.15. Go. Okay, because we cannot afford to waste time on this. The other part that I do sort of like about this schedule yes. is, because if you say it with a schedule, schedule then it sounds yeah, it fancy, sounds very proper. right? It's yeah. fancy, fancy, fancy. Um, is that then we have still every class classes. Period. Yes. So after testing's done, then done. you're like, hey, got that out of the way. Off you go. I'm going to go to first period. Go to first period. So and for so sixth and eighth grade, that's We're just going to stay there. Stay with your buddies. But we're going to transition into- Into regular classes. Stuff. Yeah. Right. So it'll just be normal. Mm -hmm. And then there's one other difference. Yes. The class you had before lunch is now after it's lunch. It's gonna flip to after, gotcha. So, so sixth grade's gonna have lunch and then flex instead of flex and lunch. Mm -hmm. Seventh grade's gonna have, uh, what are we looking at here? Lunch, then flex. Right. Usually have flex before lunch. Right, right, right. And then eighth grade is going to have- uh, A related arts. A related lunch. arts. Related lunch. arts. 
That's kind of a cool skin. I don't mind it. That kind of goes back to the day. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So that that's was... how the schedule is going to work. And then related arts classes, just hold your breath and pray. Buckle up. It's it's going to be it's right there. We're going to send you. We'll We're going to send you, and you'll be fine. And they'll be fine, and we'll yep. be fine, and everybody's going to be fine. All right, go back to the slideshow. So, so now, there is a test for science, but... But it's already happened, sorry, and no. because it's only for eighth grade, yeah, so they we, handled it in their eighth grade science class. And if they don't know frames. it, there's problems. So right. eighth graders, if you didn't take the science test, talk to your science teacher. Yeah. We don't even need to spend more time on this. Nope. Thing. Next Moving slide. On. There we go. Opt-out students. So students yep. who decide they're going to opt out, and this was an option, mm -hmm. where your parents go, my kid's not taking the test. We're gonna have stuff for you to do, okay? But and for clarification, they have to like fill out oh, it's a, a form, form. and it's all a, that it's, jazz. It's a process. You go find yeah. it on the on the district website and you fill it all out, and it's not just a thing where it's like, oh no, my mom said I don't have to take it. Correct. Okay. And the opt out list is really short right now. Right. So and for good reason. Right. Um, I always tell my my kids, you know, just take the test. It's it's it's, it's, it's practice it's, for it's, taking tests. It's it's just a a process of. of you know, yes. how do you handle it when it's yucky? Yes, exactly. Yep. So if you are opted out, if you're one of those kids, we're going to have stuff for you to do mm -hmm. um, in your language arts. If you're in the language arts OSAS test, we'll have language arts stuff for you to do. If you're in the math one, we'll have math That's science stuff for you to do. Yep. So don't even worry about being bored. Funzie. We'll have things for you to do. All right. Why is testing important? There's, this what? is what kids don't know. Yes. I, I presented this and they were like, It really what? doesn't matter anything. So click that next slide, just the right arrow. It's used throughout Oregon. It's used throughout Oregon. It's used to compare how we're doing. Yes. To the rest of Oregon. Yes. Not just how we're doing, our but how. Our school gets graded Our on student this. body, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. so our, we get a report card. So yep. those of you who don't know, our school gets a report card. Right. And it tells you, oh, how good you're doing, uh, how bad you're doing, whatever, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Yep. And then within the school, we use this thing. Mm -hmm. So we use this thing to determine your flex classes. We use this thing to determine where your core classes are. Yep. So like meaning, who's if you're gonna be Mr. Sperry's language arts class, we use this test to determine that. We, ex we determine accelerated class placement for yep. this. So it's like, if you're like, oh, I'm moving a little faster than everybody, we use this test for that. Mm -hmm. High school. High schools look at this and they say, hey, wait a minute. Do we have kids that just need a little help, need to do a little catch up? Do we have kids that are doing great and are turbo and ahead of everybody yeah. and they need to go do stuff so we make sure that we're, we're, we're really pushing them? And Like you might think, it doesn't matter. I should be in honors classes. Right. I should be in the, uh, the freshman honors, but you know what? I need a new schedule because I'm honors. And they're going to go, oh, this that kid's honors. And chips. Then they look at your, your smarter balance yep. scores. Mm -hmm. Doesn't say honors. No, and if you and if you and if you made the decision to like turbo through and like, yeah. oh, 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 I'm just gonna press on through. It's my eighth and grade then, year. I'm done. That doesn't help. So yeah. So if you're if you're doing that, then you, you gotta you gotta take yep. the test seriously if you want a good place. So it is important. It is important to do your best. Yes. And then we use it for other enrichment activities. Yep. So who looks at the scores? Students, Students get parents, the course. teachers, yep. school districts. Yep. We use this to generate that the, report card. The school report yep. card. Yep. So if you know, we have schools in the district who get targeted by the state because they're like they look at our OSAS scores mm -hmm. and they're like, mm, wait not, a minute, there's an area. This area. We need something to work on here. So and they'll tell us yep. when that happens to they'll us. Let so us know. these scores go to lots of people who request them. Yep. This is only one way we look at you. Yep. We also use the iReady scores. We also use the easy CBM yep. scores. So when we give you these tests, when we give these standardized tests, it's so that we can place you where we need to place you. So for language arts, we look at OSAS and easy CBM. For math, we look at OSAS and iReady. So and 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 it's and it's one of those things where you know you, you might have a bad day. Yes. Right? And so Putting all of our eggs, per se, in one basket is not a good is idea. It's not a good idea. Yeah. We need to be able yeah. to take little samplings of how you're doing along the way. Yes. So that's where this is all come from. All right, so we're going to look at the process here of how we're going to do this. So Thank you. Day one. Perfect. We're going to become familiar with the test. Start yep. with the cat test. We're always yep. starting with the computer adaptive mm -hmm. yep. test. Start with the cat. Okay, this is, this is going to warm your brain up, read the problem see the questions and answer them. Yep. Day two, continue with the cat test. Yep. So right now we're looking at two full days of instruction and cat test. Mm -hmm. 
Day three is where we start to transition if you finish the cat. Right. Right. So then we make some more progress on the cat or we finish up the cat. And if we finish the cat test, what should we do? Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to start the performance test. Go ahead test. and start the performance test. Yep. Yeah. So day three, so we're looking at Wednesday of the week. Yep. Yeah, this is a good transition time. Mm -hmm. yep. um, then we move on to day four. four. Day four, you should be in the PT. Day five, you should be finishing yep. up the PT. Um, maybe you're finishing up the cat. Um, so just, you want to take it slow, but not too slow. Right. You yep. want to make sure, if you follow this schedule, if you go, okay, first two days, I'm going to focus on the cat. Maybe tie some loose ends on day three. Yep. Day three, I'm going to start the PT. You know, just read the thing. Maybe take some notes. Day four and five, I'm full steam ahead for the PT. If you, you know what? You know what I love about the PT hmm. is that because it is multiple days, you have the opportunity then to like take in the question, take in the problem, absorb yeah. it, yes. let it get in there and you know marinate, marinate yeah. ruminate. Yes, I don't know something other Nate. I love the ruminate. And then as That's a result, good. then you start to develop you know, your thoughts and you start to have ideas and and then I, like Thursday, then they just start kind of going yeah. flowing out. Yeah. Because if you try to just jump in and yeah. go, I'm going to answer this question. Oh, yeah, I know. Because I know, my yeah. brain says, I'm good to go. Good, good, good. You're going to, no, no problem. No. OSAS day two preparation. Hit that next slide, Alex. Take your time. Okay, we've talked about yep. this already. Yep. Take breaks. Take breaks. And when we say take breaks, sometimes it just means take a deep breath. Maybe do one of these. Not necessarily. I need to go take a break and I go to the bathroom. Right. Because and, and get a three-course meal. And from I gotta Amazon. pause out and I gotta, you know, all that stuff. It's a, it's a mess. So, but when we're, when we're saying take a break, sometimes you just need to. Okay, okay, hang on. I finished that one. Z. Two minutes. Refocus. And and I don't want to encourage you to take longer than the week that you have, but if for some reason you're one of those kids, and I was probably one of these yeah. kids, mm -hmm. if it takes you a little longer, we're going to have yeah. availability for you to finish it. Right. But try to finish up in those five days. But yeah, take breaks. I've had kids who are just like, they clamshell the computer and they just go, um, start meditating maybe. Don't do that. You don't want to be falling asleep. No. So just take a break. And I, I think the other thing we need to focus on here is this next slide too. Before we jump to this though, it's still there. I do want to mention the thing about the 20 days. Yes. Yes, you do have 20 days from, from go to reset. Nope, you should have done it faster. <laughs> um, if you have absences in there and that, it's 20 calendar days. Yes. So it's not quite three weeks right. to complete right. it. So just FYI. So you know. It's not four weeks worth of five days a week sort of stuff for school. That's the math side. Of Correct. It. Yeah. So. so remember, these things are important right here. Get lots of sleep. Yep. You want to get a full eight hours the night before. These are important every day. Though. Every, every, every day. day. Right. Hello. Yeah, is, Come on now. But especially for the test. Okay. Eat something healthy right. for breakfast. Yeah. Grab that apple. Grab that granola bar. I mean, carbs are instant energy, right? So it's like maybe grab something with like some hardiness to it. Yes. Some some hearty sustenance. Sustenance. Maybe some of the, the overnight oats that Miss Bussy is stick so fond of. Intuitiveness. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It'll stick, stick in there. To your stick ribs in the ribs. And hang with you for a while. Right. Eat a healthy breakfast. Bring your Chromebook fully, fully charged. charged. This is exactly. super important. Chromebooks fully charged because we're not gonna have a million plug outlets for you to plug into and no. charge during the no. test because the test is first thing in the morning. don't have a charger. I don't have a charger. No, I don't so, either. Sorry. So get some sleep, mm. eat a healthy breakfast, bring your Chromebook and, and charge. Ready to go. Take care of yourself. Self-care for students. Yep. Organize your space, stay hydrated, get drink plenty water. of sleep. Drink water. Don't do what Mr. Sperry does and drink Diet Pepsi all the time. Ooh. Take breaks to refuel, spend time with your family and friends. Ooh. Ooh. Uh -huh. Friends. Healthy. So that's a, that's some good pointers for student healthcare. Meditate, okay. Get some alone time where it's quiet. Move, M move around. Yes. yes. Get some some mobility. Get those steps in. Okay. Bring your Chromebook and charger. We can't emphasize this enough. 
Chromebook and charger. Make yes. sure that Chromebook is fully charged. Bingo. Okay. Fully charged Chromebook means more success in testing. What not, not to, bring. to bring? Dun dun dun. Can we have the next slide, please? There you go. Perfect. Unauthorized stuff. Unauthorized stuff. No cell phones. Yep. Bluetooth devices. Yep. Don't bring those Bluetooth headphones. Yeah, because if you're going to be using, and I know I, my understanding is for the language arts side of things, there is a, a plug-in necessary to listen to stuff. Yes. And you will all be using the plug-in. The cheapo the wired. Plug the plug-in wired. <laughs> okay. Not, well, I only use my AirPods and I'll just connect. It's no. not connected to my phone. No. Which is in my pocket. Right. I mean, my locker. I mean. Okay. So just make sure you're only going to be using authorized devices to so your Chromebook, your charger, headphones given to you by a teacher. Yep. No Bluetooth, no cell phones, none yep. of that stuff. Okay. Just be keeping these items in your locker. Yep. Okay. That's you for don't sure. need them. Just put them in your locker. And I had a discussion with my Wolf Den about this. Sure. Even Wolf Den's a class. Put your phones yep. in your locker. Okay, we talked about headphones. this. Headphones are allowable. Oh. We're, we're going to provide those for you so that you don't even need to worry Scratch about it. paper. Them. And when you're checking on your Chromebook, you're going to go to the apps in the bottom left. You're going to go the to the left. secure test browser. What that does is that does the whole shut everything else down. Yep. And then state of Oregon, and then that's where you'll enter in your super secret numbers and um, your test session ID that that's your it. teacher that's will it. provide. Yep. Piece of cake. So that ends our first two days of the presentation. Dun, dun, dun. We will be back with day three, which is gonna involve some looking at some data. Some it's stuff. It's gonna involve looking at some scheduling, looking at some other stuff. So we will be back for that. All right, welcome hey, back, Mr. Hey, Shooty. Day three. Day, day three. three, here we go. This is the intensive day. This yes. is the day where we're gonna have to pause the video so teachers can hand out papers. Yes. And then they can pause the video so kids can write down certain numbers. Right. So let's do some, do some mathematics. Some mathematics. You know what I did? I cheated. Why? I filled it in for my students. What? Well, you know. can give them their score. I know. And then, okay, and when we get to the mathematics, more. we're gonna right, talk we'll about talk, how we'll you talk, don't we'll need talk. to cheat for all middle schoolers. They can all do this. They can, I know. And I need to, I need to give them more credit. Yeah, come right. on now. Holy nuggets. So we're gonna start by setting some goals. Yeah, it's good to have goals. So one part of goal setting is knowing where you're starting. Yes. So you can measure where you wanna go. Right. Right? So to do that, we have a goal setting worksheet. The goal setting worksheet looks kind of like this. It looks like this. So on this piece of paper, you're gonna see a couple of sections. There's yes. four sections to this thing. Yes. And in these four sections, you're going to see your a place to put last year's scores for ELA. Yes. A place to put goals for ELA. Yes. A growth goal and a re or stretch goal. Stretch goal. Yes. Uh -huh. And then there's going to be a place to reflect on that. Yes. And then you're going to get the same thing for math, where you're going to have last year's score. Score. Then last year's growth plus goal. One, and then and a stretch. stretch goal. There you go. And then a space to reflect. A space to after reflect. After the test. So we're going to keep track of this piece of paper during the t or before the test, during the test, and after the test, so we can keep track of everything. So it's a document we're going to revisit. We're going to revisit, revisit this, document. this document. So your teachers, okay. I believe, gotcha. are going to keep track of these things for you because yes, there are some students who can't keep track of stuff. Right. That's, that's and that way fine. You're, you're you're growing, but and from the, and from a, just the, the logistical standpoint, right? It does make sense that teacher can hang on to them. Yes. We can take care of the business that we're going to take care of today. Yes. And then from there. Teacher will collect them, although this is probably happening in a Wolf Den class. I'm imagining. And then their actual testing class, yes. they might either be using them as in the reflecto, reflective, or we could come back to Wolf Den right. and revisit again. So whenever we get those scores yes. returned to us, we'll revisit. Remember, you want to make sure your goals are realistic. And? Achievable. 
I was going to go attainable. At attainable. Both it's, words yeah, work. Exactly. I think they're synonymous. They are synonymous. Kind of like they trajectory. Are synonyms and, and direction. Zing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, so make it realistic and achievable. Yes. Or attainable. attainable. It depends which teacher book you read. That's a good point. Yeah. Yes. So teachers, at this time, here's what we're going to have you do. We're going to have you hand out the goal sheets. We're going to have you pause the video, hand out the goal sheets. Pause. And you're going to walk your students through this process. If you don't want to walk them through it, we're going to walk we're a little bit through it talk. for you. Mm -hmm. So right now, pause the video and hand out those sheets. And we will just sit here and... Yes. All right. Meanwhile. So the first thing we're going to do. Back on the farm. Re reflect on last year's state results. Your teacher is going to have a spreadsheet. And I would put the spreadsheet up and show them what this looks like. But I'm not going to do that. But we can't give everybody scores. Kind of so confidential. We can't put that out there in the public. So your teacher is going to give you your last year's score. Right. And you're going to write that on line one. Where it says last year's score. Where it says last year's score. But you're going to put the language arts score in that upper section that. where the ELA language Correct. arts last year's score goes. Absolutely. And then the math, math score, score will, will go, go a section down. In the three, in, actually I believe it would be the third the section third down. The third section, that's Because there's point. a yep. scores, the refl reflection, scores, reflection. Yes. Oh. So in that third section, top math row, score. last year's score. No, last year's math score. Okay. So that's how that's going to work. Easy. You're just copying a number. So teachers, to get these scores, if you find this slide presentation that Mr. Shooty and I are yep. presenting. Here you go. There it is. You can see the links right here the, for the sixth grade scores. The little red arrow going to be there. Yep. And the seventh and eighth grade scores. Now, in an effort for confidentiality, though, I guess this is actually wonderful because they could have this projected on the screen, us speaking now. Yes. But on their laptop Correct. or computer, Correct. they would have those screens on the little baby screen. Pull those up. And then they're able to facilitate in a plethora of ways within the classroom. Hundred percent. Mm. Then we have the. Oh, this is the part we have to do the math. Yes. And you, you big chicken, well, did it for them. I did. Okay, kids. Here we go. Listen, Mr. Math teacher is going to. Here we go. To do this. Even if Mr. Weber is your language arts and social studies teacher, you can all do this. Yes. Okay. Ready? To do your growth goal, you take. Last year's score, and you add one to it. Who knows? So if your last year's score was a 2550, that's going to change to a drum roll, please. 2551. That's reasonable. I think so. That's a good goal. I can't believe you did that for them. I know. Oh my gosh. I know. Then, you're going to also do the math. This is the trickier one. For the stretch goal. Stretch goal. Stretch goal. And this time, you're going to take your last year's score, and you're going to add 100 a hundo. to it. This is trickier because it's a, it's a, different, it's a different number in the four-digit numbers. But, but if your last year's score was a 2550, 2550. So we want to increase that if 100 we're space. Yeah, if we're going to add 100, then it's not going to be 2550. It's going to go to 2650. Six. That makes sense. You're just adding You're one. Just adding at 100. the 100s column. Yeah. Just come on now. Changing kids. that hundreds column. Don't need a calculator. Get off your Chromebook. Just do the math. Correct. Oi. So teachers, that's what you should be doing right now while we're babbling on we're helping. all this stuff. We're helping. Yeah, that's what we do. We're helpers. We are helpers. Moving on. Now here's why that's important. Oi. Why that one point is important. What am I gonna get out of this? Why that hundred points is important. How come this is when this, this doesn't even matter? You wanna get out of class? Mr. Shooty and I you have, go have, been, snacks? have been teaching middle school longer than all y'all been breathing. Yeah. Except for the teachers. I mean, 
Mm. But all you students, we've been teaching middle school longer than you've been breathing. Right. We know one thing's for sure. You don't do nothing without an incentive. Mm-hmm. Well, not all of them. But so, I know. yeah. So, Mr. Shu, you want to explain what they get? So, what you get, dun, 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 if you improve by one point from last year's score, remember, that would be the growth goal. The growth goal. If you meet your growth goal and we're hoping, in math or English language arts. We're hoping for 100% on this one. I just want everybody to know that. You're going to get an invite to an ice cream party. Ice cream party. It may or may get, not be the chocolate. Uh, yeah, yeah, bar. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm. It's just a representation I'm curious, of ice cream. Is an ice cream something? But it's going to be something. Yes. Ice creamish. Okay. Are we cool with that? Uh, totally if cool. you improve by at least a minimum of 100 points. That's that points, stretch goal. That's a stretch goal. You will be invited for the afternoon down to the gym. We're going to have movie, a popcorn, some sodi pop, sodies, and Love hanging it. out. Watching oh, a movie. Watching a movie. In the gym. What movie is it? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's not math class. It doesn't matter. Exactly. <laughs> it's not school. Right. So. so go for the popcorn in the movie. Now, if you happen Too good. to be in the top 15 oh. in the this growth curious. for both ELA and math yep. per grade level. So there's a potential of, what is that, 45? Yeah, I came up with like 46 because you've got... You, well, uh, no, no. It I've says got both ELA and math. So. Right. This is this is this is where it's complicated because the term it depends on how you read the fine print. On it's this. true. You could have fifteen, the top fifteen in math. You oh, could have top. the top fifteen in ELA. So that could potentially now, be thirty. It could be thirty there, and then you could also have the top three in math. Oh, I see. What you're and right. the top three yes. in. ELA, so I guess my math was way off. That's like 36, potentially 36. Per grade level. Per grade level. If we're reading it that if way. If we're reading it that way. Okay. Now, recognizing that there's a potential for one of these from the top 15 of ELA to also and be. top 15 of math to be the same persona. So, shunk, so that's really one so that's of like those. That's two versions of a person occupying one space. Well, do they get then like twice the pizza? Right, you think? I think that'd be a deal. Now, the other way that this could be interpreted is That's the loophole that, that I would go with. You have to be in the top 15 for ELA and math. I, and I don't, I, I think don't. that'd be a much smaller I, number. I think that'd be a little number. So. You would not have like crossover. But however this is interpreted, you will be notified. Yes. And you will get bowling and a pizza field trip at Emerald Land. Yes, and basically the gist here is that, hey, these are folks that work really, really hard yes. to do better than they did last year. Yeah. That's how we're going to call That's it. That's how we're going to look yep. at it. Mm -hmm. So these are the incentives. Growth ice cream. Goal. We're looking at growth goal, ice cream. We're looking at 100%. I think Everybody. I think 100% uh, of the school can get this. 500 and something, something, something ice creams. Yes. And if I, th I think if, 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 if the students get 100% on this, if every student gets a growth, meets their growth. Oh, goal, I'm going to pizza. Maybe the teachers should get an ice get cream. Get ice cream. Yeah. That's just, I'm just throwing that out there. Got that? 100 points if you get your stretch goal. They didn't do good. Dude. Movie, popcorn, soda, in the gym. Mm-hmm. And this is, everyone's like, 100 points. That's not hard. No. Do you know that from grade level to grade level, you're expected to improve about 60 to 70 points anyway? Oh. Like just for just for just for kicks and giggles, just for being around for another year. Yeah. So I mean, basically, you're just like let's stretch it thirty more. Yeah. So, so I mean, this this just is like not, the coincidental. I just learned a random happened to enough. sponge up over yep. the course of time. Is, it, it should. It so in theory, you can get fifty to seventy points yeah. just without really doing anything. Yeah. Just, just kind of showing up by being at school. Life. Right. Doing your work. Yep. Paying attention to what Miss Stro says. Mm-hmm. The magic one. Yep. So those are your incentives. There you go. Celebrate. Celebrate. It's over. Dun, dun, dun. You're, you're celebrating the end of it. I know. Because we did it. Yes. Oof. Ah. Testing's over. Testing. Like, uh, it can be exhausting. Yes. It can be exhausting. You could, <sighs> but you should be proud of yourself. You finished this thing. Yeah. Be proud of These yourself. These things are not. And 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 if you and if you 
found your own self-discipline to like work through it for the whole week too. That's the hard part. Yes. That's probably the hardest part for middle schoolers. Hardest part. Is easy. Cranking through in like, I take my time. I take my time. I take my time. I know I can't take my time. I did it. Yep. Yeah. That's the hardest part. Yep. So be proud of yourself. Teachers, I've probably gone over this already, but mm -hmm. just so you know, students, there are ways to do the sample test training test. Yep. You can do this in your Chromebook. Go to that next slide. In your Chromebook, if you click on that browser at the bottom, it'll give you an option to go do the sample test. If you want to practice, in the apps. do it in the apps. And I believe, I believe, um, I can fly. No, I believe that the eighth graders, uh, we will be doing our sample testing yes. in our language arts class yes and our math class so that yes. the math teachers the content specific experts can correct address any issues and i think seventh grade is doing the same thing yes so. so so the trajectory should be growth it should be upward do your best any other final words mr Shitty? good luck good luck you're smart kids it's test time you're great do it <laughs>